The universe is a vast and mysterious place, filled with wonders beyond our comprehension. At the heart of our understanding lies the Big Bang Theory, a scientific framework that describes the birth of our universe. But what was there before the Big Bang? And can we even comprehend what existed in the moments preceding the birth of our universe? Join us on this journey as we delve deep into scientific theories and ancient Hindu wisdom to unravel the mystery of our existence. The Big Bang Theory The Big Bang Theory stands as the cornerstone of modern cosmology, offering a compelling narrative for the origin and evolution of the universe. According to this theory, our universe began as a singularity, an infinitely dense and hot point, approximately 13.8 billion years ago. This moment marked the beginning of space, time, matter and energy as we see them today. This concept, rooted in Einstein's theory of general relativity, reshaped our understanding of the cosmos and forms the backbone of modern cosmology. But now, recent scientific advancements suggest that there might have been something before this cosmic explosion. They say there was a time, about 13.8 billion years ago, when the universe was really small and then suddenly got very big. This phase is called inflation. During this inflationary phase, the universe was expanding exponentially fast, like doubling in size over and over again. If you start with something smaller than a tiny atom, it will become much bigger than the observable universe in a fraction of a second. And when this inflation stopped, all the energy that was driving that expansion got dumped into space. It heated the universe up, it produced the particles of matter, out of which we are made, and all the things that, that we see out there in the sky. And that's what we see as the Big Bang. But the big question then is, what started the inflation? What stopped it? Scientists are still grappling with these questions, but several intriguing theories have emerged. One such theory is the eternal inflation theory, which suggests that the inflation doesn't simply stop all at once. Instead, little bubble of space stops expanding at different times and in different regions of space. And each time one of these bubbles stops expanding, it gives rise to a universe. We call these universes bubble universes. Each bubble universe exists within its own domain, isolated from others by an expanding space. These bubble universes exist simultaneously, but may have no interaction with one another due to vast distances or differences in their fundamental conditions and physical laws. Each new universe then keeps expanding and might create even more universes in a never-ending cycle, possibly making an infinite number of universes. In this way, the conditions for the Big Bang or similar cosmic events are continuously occurring within a larger multiverse. But that's not the end of the story. It just raises more questions because we are clueless about what existed before inflation and it's doubtful that modern science will ever find out. Furthermore, some theories even suggest the existence of multiple universes, maybe an infinite number of universes beyond our own observable universe. It's mind-blowing, isn't it? Now, if this holds true, the constant of nature, the likes of gravity strength, the speed of light, and the masses of particles could differ from one universe to another. And then comes the big question. Why does our universe seem so perfectly suited for life? Why do stars produce the vital elements, like carbon and oxygen, that are necessary for life to thrive? Well, according to the multiverse theory, it's because every possible universe exists, each with its own set of natural laws. So naturally, we find ourselves in a universe that allows for our existences, because with an infinite number of universes, it's bound to happen. There's a theory that there might be extra dimensions in the universe. Imagine our universe as a flat sheet of paper floating in a much larger multidimensional space. In this hyperspace, there could be other universes floating around, each with its own sheet of space. 
Now think about what happens when these universe sheets, or brains, bump into each other. Well, one theory proposes that the collision of these brains could have triggered the Big Bang. When two brains collide, they generate immense amount of energy and heat. This collision and subsequent separation could mimic the conditions of a Big Bang, resulting in the expansion of space and time as we know it. So, before our universe began its expansion, it's possible that these collisions between brains played a pivotal role in its creation. Another major hypothesis is that the universe and time did not exist before the Big Bang. The universe materialized literally out of nothing at a tiny but finite size and expanded thereafter. There were no moments before the moment of the smallest size as the notion of before becomes meaningless in the absence of time. Likewise, there was no creation of the universe because that concept implies action into time and you can't go further back in time than the very origin of time itself. Interestingly, this shares similarities with the Nasadiya Sukta, also known as the Hymn of Creation, one of Hinduism's oldest sacred texts, which states that before creation, nothing existed, neither matter nor energy. But the fascinating connection here is temporal gap between them. Big Bang Theory came about in 1927, and the Rig Veda dates back thousands of years. So. Did the Big Bang Theory borrowed ideas from the Rig Veda? Although modern cosmology provides an explanation for the Big Bang, it remains flawed and fraught with unanswered questions. The basic idea that the universe originated from a hot, dense state and has since been expanding and cooling is widely accepted. But cosmologists continually refine the theory to accommodate new observations and challenges. One major problem with the Big Bang Theory is that it claims all the mass and energy in the universe came from nothing. According to this idea, before the Big Bang, there was no space, time, matter or energy. This seems to contradict the first law of thermodynamics, which says that energy cannot be created or destroyed. So, it leaves us wondering, how did the mass and energy of the whole universe appear out of nothing? And what does it mean for the universe to begin from a state with no space, time, matter, or energy? One of the common misconceptions about the Big Bang model is that it fully explains the origin of the universe, but it fails to explain where energy, time, and space came from. So, while it gives us a good picture of how our universe evolved, it doesn't fully answer the big questions about where it all began. Modern science has also speculated that the question of what existed before the Big Bang may not have a meaningful answer. The Big Bang marks the beginning of time itself, and you can't go further back in time than the origin of time itself. So, asking what happened before it is akin to asking what lies north of the North Pole, or what distance is shorter than zero, it's a concept without logical meaning. Then again, we simply don't know whether or not there was time before the Big Bang. And if the multiverse is also infinite in time, we are back to the idea that everything has existed forever. Amidst the scientific speculations surrounding the origins of the universe, there's a growing recognition of the wisdom embedded in ancient traditions and philosophical teachings. Recently, numerous studies and theoretical frameworks have challenged the notion that the Big Bang marks the absolute beginning of our universe. Instead, these studies propose that our universe may not have had a singular point of origin, but has existed in some form for an indefinite duration. This perspective suggests a departure from the traditional understanding of cosmic origins and aligns with concepts found in ancient Hindu cosmology particularly the idea of a cyclical pattern of creation and destruction known as Kalpa. This concept suggests that the universe undergoes an endless cycle of expansion and contraction, akin to the rhythmic inhalations and exhalations of Lord Vishnu. Each cycle begins with a cosmic dawn, a Big Bang-like event, followed by eons of cosmic evolution before culminating in a cosmic dissolution only to be reborn anew in an eternal cycle of creation. 
According to this hypothesis, there was a universe before ours, which collapsed into a singularity, leading to the Big Bang that initiated our current universe. Additionally, advancements in quantum physics have raised questions about the nature of reality and the role of consciousness in shaping our perception of the universe. This resonates with deeply with Hindu metaphysics, which suggests that the physical world we observe is but a mere illusion, a manifestation of divine consciousness or Maya. It's like a big magic trick that makes us believe in things that aren't ultimately true. This notion challenges our understanding of existence, implying that what we perceive as the beginning of everything might just be the tip of the iceberg, concealing the true nature of reality beneath layers of illusion. Furthermore, the concept of time itself has come under scrutiny in modern physics. Loop quantum gravity suggests that time might not flow smoothly, but rather in tiny, discrete steps. Additionally, string theory proposes that time might have an extra dimension beyond what we normally experience. These notions challenge the traditional view of time as a linear progression and supports the idea of cyclical nature of time. Furthermore, they align with the concept of Maya, indicating the possible existence of hidden dimensions beyond our usual perception of space and time. It leads us to ponder whether the notion of a beginning even makes sense. If the idea of a beginning or origin is illusory, can we even say for sure that there was ever a true beginning at all? Do you believe there was a concept of before the Big Bang? Or is it beyond human comprehension? In the world where scientific methods are facing challenges in unveiling the origins of the universe, perhaps exploring ancient wisdom could enhance our understanding and provide answers to the questions that are beyond science's reach. What are your thoughts on this? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video thought-provoking, please show your support by subscribing, ringing the bell, and enabling notifications to never miss videos like this. Thank you for watching.